Good afternoon and welcome to our KRQE.com webcast. I'm Deanna Saucetta. We begin with meteorologist John Smith and the forecast. Hi, John. Hi, Deanna. We are looking for cooler conditions throughout the afternoon after a front has come through in the overnight hours, and we'll continue to watch for cooler conditions through tonight as well. But that cool down is short lived. We do start to warm things back up as we move into the upcoming weekend. Saturday will be quite a bit warmer, but we'll also see the winds come back as well. Not on the scale of what we saw for Thursday, but we will see breezy to sometimes windy conditions, especially for the eastern part of the state. And that warm up will be short lived as well. Take a look at the temperature roller coaster over the next couple of days. Thursday's highs were into the 50s and 60s over in the north, approaching 80 degrees down in the southeast. But as we take a look at what happens for today, the cold front came through and we are looking for temperatures to drop into the 40s and 50s over the north, into the 50s down into the south as well. But as we go into Saturday, temperatures warm to near 60 from the metro, near 70 as you move out into eastern sections. But then we cool down once again for Sunday as we look at a cool down mainly from the northern part of the state. Temperatures back into the 40s and 50s, but we won't see that cool down in the south. We will stay in the 70s and we will be seeing lots of sunshine for the entire weekend. The suspect in a double shooting that left one person dead in Albuquerque early this month was in court today. 20-year-old Gabriel Ulibarri pleaded not guilty to the charges against him. The judge kept him held without bond. Police say Ulibarri shot and killed a man and hurt a woman on Marble Northeast February 4th. Now, according to police, Ulibarri was visiting his sister in an apartment there when he thought the neighbors were making too much noise, so he shot them. Los Alamos National Labs is beefing up its security. This is starting next month. Lab officials will conduct random checks of vehicles going onto lab property. Anyone who refuses won't be allowed in. The checks are among several changes going in after a recent security assessment by the Energy and Defense Departments. We'll stay with KRQE for more news and weather updates throughout the day. Have a great weekend, everybody. See you on Monday.